I'm Anjali Haikawan. I'm a postdoc working in the Center of Research Excellence in Newborn Medicine. My colleagues and I recently published a paper on high blood pressure in young adult survivors born extremely preterm or extremely low birth weight in the post-surfactant era. Infants who were born extremely preterm, less than 28 weeks gestation, or extremely low birth weight, less than 1,000 gram, are now surviving into adulthood in increasing numbers. This is due to significant advances in perinatal and neonatal care. In particular, the introduction of exogenous surfactant to treat respiratory distress syndrome in the early 1990s. However, there's little information on the long-term health effects of the preterm infants and late morbidity could be an increasing problem. The aims of a study were firstly to compare blood pressure differences between extremely preterm, extremely low birth weight and normal birth weight controls at 25 years of age. Secondly, to compare trajectories of blood pressure that is the rate of change of blood pressure per year between 18 to 25 years of age. And thirdly, to determine risk factors for high blood pressure within the preterm cohort at 25 years of age. We found young adults born extremely preterm, extremely low birth weight in the post-surfactant era had substantially elevated blood pressure at 25 years of age compared with controls. Additionally, more had values in the hypertensive ranges compared with controls. Most importantly, blood pressure increased more in the preterm group between 18 to 25 years compared with controls. This was particularly observed for the nighttime blood pressure. This is the first study to report changes of blood pressure over time in individuals born preterm. So when we examined the predictors of blood pressure within the preterm group, we found males and those with higher body mass index to be associated with high blood pressure. These findings are important as more extremely preterm, extremely low birth weight survivors are reaching adulthood and are therefore at higher risk of developing hypertension. High blood pressure can be managed if it's detected in a timely manner. Health professionals, families of preterm infants, and the survivors themselves should all be aware of the increased risk for high blood pressure in those born preterm. Simple measures, for example, taking a complete perinatal history, including gestational age and birth weight, and offering blood pressure measurements, along with advocating for a healthy lifestyle, for example, giving up tobacco smoking, maintaining healthy body weight, are recommended when individuals born preterm present for a health checkup. A proactive approach in the timely identification and control of high blood pressure may lead to improved long-term cardiovascular outcomes in this rapidly growing at-risk population of young adults. <laughs>